Welcome back to the Retirement Income Show. Let's talk more about the second key to successful retirement. It's a strategy aligned with your income goals for retirement. You know, in sports, once a team has identified their goal, they can now build a strategy around it. And the same thing is true with retirement planning. The more specific you can be with your goals, the more effective you can make your strategy. Now, understand that your goals do not have to be set in stone. You can change them, you can adjust them over time if you want or you need to, and most people will and are going to, which is why it's so important to review your financial strategy on a regular basis. However, if you're like most people, your goals will continue to be purpose-based that you're gonna wanna pay for from your regular retirement income stream. So at this point, you might be thinking, hey Wes, all this sounds good, but where do I start? Well, you can easily start by contacting me and visiting me at retiretv.com to learn much more about goal setting and investing for income, or by calling 855-776-0614. You know, one approach that some people use to get started is to estimate the, estimating their cost of their goals is, is trying to figure out how much money they need to save. However, in my experience, that's not necessarily the best approach. The fact is, while of course it's very important to save as much as you possibly can for your retirement, if you start becoming fixated on a certain lump sum, it's going to have its drawbacks. For one thing, if you focus on that lump sum, you're chasing a specific number, and, and that's going to risk following a performance-based strategy that not only is not aligned with your goals, but could end up actually working against them. I believe a better first step is to start with a top-down budget analysis. And that's where you take your gross income that you're accustomed to making now, and then you add up all the expenses that are gonna go away once you retire. Expenses like your payroll tax, maybe you have excess working expenses, perhaps 401k contributions, and maybe you're gonna have your mortgage paid off so you can eliminate that. And then you're, then you're left with a number after doing the top-down budget analysis. And most people are, what I found actually pleasantly surprised that they actually need less income than they thought to achieve their goals. But once again, analyzing your retirement budget is something that we can help with at Wood Financial Group. And you can visit us online at retiretv.com or by calling us at 855-776-0614. And we can also show you why having that specific lump sum is actually less important than having the right allocation. And with an income strategy, that means that an allocation is designed to not only maximize your income return, but to protect your principal and create opportunities for organic portfolio growth. Ah, uh, but what is organic portfolio growth? Is that something that you go pick up at Whole Foods Market? It may sound like it, but of course it's not. All organic portfolio growth is simply another way to achieve growth in a retirement portfolio by shifting from a portfolio geared towards growth to shifting one towards income. So when exactly is the right time to make the shift to income? Well, that's a very important question and it's actually the third key to successful retirement. And we're going to talk more about that third key in just a moment, but right now I want to welcome back David Scran. Welcome back, Dave. Great to be back. Uh, hey, you know, you always talk about how people, if they really get what they think they want, they all want maximum return with minimum risk in an investment portfolio, right? But sure. what you talk about, it's a question of maximum return for what purposes. And you, you talk mm -hmm. about three different possible eventual uses of money. So how does that concept fit into what you're talking about now? Yeah, well, you know, it, it, it kind of goes back to, again, the purpose of money. I, I guess some people do want to spend their money on a specific uh, item, like a lump sum purchase. Maybe somebody wants to save up all their money to get to a dollar figure to cash it all out and buy a vacation home in Florida. That, that could be one of the purposes. Uh, but what I found is that most people, uh, the purpose of them saving up their money is to be there for retirement, which means instead of focusing on that, that number to buy that house or condo in Florida, they need to save up and focus on the income. So the purpose of that money is to be there to generate an income stream when they do retire. So uh, I hope that answers your question, but at least that's a couple of the reasons. Well, it sounds like that's why you make such a big deal about needing a retirement planning coach, if you will, because the reality is that you know all of your goals up until retirement are lump sum goals, right? You want to buy your first car and then you want to buy your first home and then maybe you want to buy a bigger home. 
And even paying for college for children is kind of a lump sum goal, even though the lump, there might be four lump sums, right? One for each year. But retirement is really the first goal that you're saving and investing for to, to generate income, correct? That, that's exactly right. And, and, you know, not having the right coach could be uh, a big problem. You know, you know, you only get this thing right one time. And if you don't have a coach uh, to help you with that, at least from what I found. Now, some people are, are pretty good on their own and they can kind of be their own coordinator and take care of certain aspects of their retirement planning. But with a true coach, it's almost like a, a football team that's been very successful. Well, what happens is, is it a lot of times it starts with a coach and the coach is calling the plays and making the decisions. And when things get tough and there's big life-changing events, just like there could be on that football field, the coach knows what, you know, call to, uh, what play to call in in order to win the game. And so to win the ball game of life or in retirement, a lot of times it's good to just have that coach, that sounding board to adjust the strategies to make sure that Maybe instead of saving up for that lump sum purchase like you would when you're younger and focusing on accumulation, now it's more about focusing on income and how do you get there. And that's really where a financial coach that focuses on income and income specialist can help make sure that it's done properly and advise people the right way. So it's interesting, down here in Florida, a lot of people's financial goals are to get a place somewhere cooler, some place they can go in the summertime up in the mountains mm -hmm. or something like that. What are some of the most common financial goals that you hear retirees and pre-retirees, those that come in your office virtually every day of the week, Monday through Friday, what are some yeah. of their most common goals, at, goals in the Nashville area? Well, yeah, we're definitely in Middle Tennessee, so it's a lot different than Florida. Yeah. Uh, the saying is here in Middle Tennessee, if you don't like the weather today, just wait until tomorrow. So we do have the constant weather changes. So uh, a lot of times it's not to buy that second home or residence, but most of the time when I talk to people when they're retiring, it's all about just spending more time with their family, their grandchildren, really, really values is what I find a lot of times with our clients that come into our office, is they just wanna have the freedom to know that they have the peace of mind in order to really spend more time with their family. And yes, traveling comes up a lot, uh, focusing maybe, and I talk to a lot, of, a lot of guys and I'm a golfer and they say, hey, I wanna spend more time at the golf course rather than at the office. but. A lot of times it's just you know maintaining a great quality of life and being able to do the things that they really want to do. And I do have some clients that say, hey, they would like to have a vacation home down in Florida, like where you are, where it's warm 24 seven. So that can happen, yes. Sure, in the winter time, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, escape down there. But uh, well, hey, Dave, thanks for, uh, thanks for being here. I know we're gonna get back to you in just a minute after the break, but right after we get back from the break, we're gonna talk more about Timing your retirement plan just right is so important. So we'll be right back. A fiduciary is someone legally obligated to act in your best interest. Doctors, lawyers, and some financial advisors are fiduciaries, but not all. When you work with Wes Wood and his Wood Financial Group, you are working with fiduciaries. They help clients create customized investment portfolios based off their retirement goals. If you're ready to work with a fiduciary, visit RetireTV.com and schedule a free, no obligation conversation with Wes or a Wood Financial Group advisor. I'm David Scranton. When it came time for my mom to retire, one simple mistake forced her to work years longer than she should have. And that's why I started the Retirement Income Store, to help hardworking Americans, 55 and over, plan for the retirement they deserve. I couldn't help my mom, but maybe I can help you. If you're 55 or older, our free Retirement Income Kit is for you. It's chock full of information you need to know to get steady income during your retirement. Call 833-4RI-STORE online at theretirementincomestore.com. 